first, Maryland just can't even get to 60. They fall 60 to 58 to the Virginia Tech. Hokies, the one of 13 beyond the arc, just not enough offense to get this done. You're winning 43 to 36, got 12 minutes left. In the next seven minutes, I think you score on one of 11 possessions, right? You're not gonna win. And you're not gonna win when I yell ahead two, two points, three points, maybe two points. points. And Fats Russell was two for 15 or two for 13 from the field. He's not gonna win. And what were the three points of three points set? 7.7% tonight or one of 13. You had a good game, you had 18 points, but picked up some fouls and they don't really use him as much down the stretch. But he looked like he could have been a dominant scorer early on. Great atmosphere, place was rocking, got down to a one point game. Uh, had a chance to tie it with a King Hart three-pointer over my left shoulder here. It didn't go in. This is the Big Dog post-game show. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Bowser. Joining us a little bit is Mason Viner. But first, we'll hear from Rick Jacklich and Maryland wide receiver, Rakim Jarrett. Maryland's legal newspaper has named the Jacklich Law Group the very best. Best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs, the Jack Litch Law Group. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. Back here on the Ford Xfinity Center, Bruce, you said this wasn't going to be easy. This has not been an easy run for the Maryland Terrapins over the past week or so. Look, this team lost by eight points to Memphis. They were in a total time. Then one point to Xavier. This team. This team. This team. Not Maryland. Virginia Tech. That was their only two losses. It's very respectable. But they don't have that. They don't have offense. Their defense is fine. I mean, they're fighting and scrapping. And yet, you know, they needed that layup by Julian Reese. Oh. It was a killer when he missed that. I think I would have tied it. I, I think so. Yeah. Right. Look, we lost. It's nothing you can do. They're now five and three. And I tell you what, the real game starts Sunday, and Northwestern. It, if they don't win that game. They're really under some pressure on Sunday. I mean, you think like the fans were restless tonight? It ain't nothing compared to a Big Ten loss at home to one of the bottom dwellers that will bring out the worst in the Maryland fans. I don't know what to say. Well, the fans look good with those yellow jerseys. It was a great crowd. Mace will be here to talk about the fight and a lot more in a moment after this word from Mason about Viner Forgates. Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates. Back here on the floor at Xfinity Center, Maryland Falls to Virginia Tech. Bruce, we just talked about it a little bit. Where do they go from here? You get a quick Big Ten game, then back to the non-conference. You got Brown, Loyola, but where are the wins going to come from? for this team. They gotta get better, they gotta play better, they gotta shoot better. But I gotta say one thing. Mason used to be up on here to be, you know, he used to be this tall. Look at him now. He's towered over me, Wayne. He's am a I, big boy. Am I shrieking or is he growing? A little, bit of, each, a little bit of both. Listen, they're not playing well. I don't it doesn't take a, a rocket science to say that. When you score fifty eight points at home and you shoot they had forty two percent but they had fifteen turnovers. You, you, you put all these numbers together, it's miracles that they're even in the games. Defense is doing it for them. But I really want to start seeing more Julian Reese, maybe in the starting lineup, maybe for Akeem Hart. you got to shake it up. you got to do something because the status quo is not getting it done, in my opinion. No, and I think Maryland is, is really killing themselves. And the guy that I'm pointing to right now is Dante Scott. He's just not getting it done. He's taking some bad shots. Maryland, Bruce, back in your day in like 1960, is probably a great team because they can't make a three. Everything's coming from the inside. They got a couple big guys that can really play. But look, the reality of it is you're not 
winning games, making one three-pointer. Well, you know what? We're not, we're not giving one guy a lot of credit tonight, and that's Caduce Waha. I think he was like seven for eight from the field or somewhere in that vicinity. He played just stupendous. And Ayala, if he has any kind of a game, they win this game easily. Maybe it was the defense they put on him. I don't know. But you're not going to win any games the rest of the season if Ayala scores two points. All right? It's not going to happen. Before we go, I want to bring up one thing to Mason. Football. Speculation continues here tonight. Your guess right now where they're going to go. I still got the quick lane bull, Bruce. I don't really think that you can say much else now. We'll see how things shake up this weekend. Uh, it's a big weekend for this conference. You know, they really, for the Big Ten, they need a Michigan win. And, you know, you guys mentioned the crowd here. Quite quite the aggressive atmosphere. Kind of reminded me of an old Maryland game. A couple of fights breaking out in the crowd. A couple of people getting arrested. Uh, it reminded me of, like, 2008 Maryland back in the days of the ACC. A lot of Virginia Tech fans. Here. Yeah, it, they really came alive when they took the lead late. But how do you, Maryland, 43-36 at home. They never lose a game like that. Really, almost to anybody, what they did tonight, tonight, and, and they did tonight. on Saturday. And they, well, you know, Saturday they did have a lead toward the end. Uh, Big Ten is still going to win the, the ACC challenge, but right now I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about my Terps. Yeah, Big Terps fall the one in seven uh, in the ACC Big Ten challenge, and what's the score? Uh, we lost 62-58 tonight. And uh, I'll use my radio voice. You can catch us on the radio on 1300 The Bet on Saturday with Coon Sports. Who wants to do presents the, show with me on the Saturday. Sports Maven. Who? It's up for grabs. Mason will take this one. We will see you after you the press the conference. Dirty work.